Alright, welcome LEGO fans to a special surprise here on Bobo Brico 9's channel. And today we have pleased yet another group of big fans, and that are, those are, the DC Comic Fans. We've done quite a bit now for you Marvel Comic Fans, we've done Captain America's Avenging Cycle, the uh, Spider-Man Cycle Chase, the, um, the Extreme like Seaport Battle, Wolverine's Chopper Showdown, Hulk's Telecarrier Breakout, Spider-Man Keychain, so we've done like between 5 and 10, yeah. about 7 or 8 actually, so that's pretty good. But to date, we have not done any DC comic Lego set reviews. So, to kind of help make up for that, we have this amazingly huge set to help make up for that. Donated by... Andrew me. 19, Andrew 30. Well, actually my dad, because he's the one who yes. um, orders off of the Plego. And by the service. way, exciting news, we're going to see if we can actually get the Death Star on here because of that. And the, a Taj Mahal. We're hoping... Don't... Yeah, don't yes. go crazy. You guys should not Taj, be hoping. Let us hope. Yeah. Taj Mahal, you... I mean, we'll almost certainly get it on here at some point, right? Probably. Death Star, we don't Maybe. even know if it's on Plego. If it's not, we'll probably never get it on Well, it's so expensive. let me just say something. I think we have a better chance of getting the Death Star than the Taj Mahal. We don't even know if the Death Star is on there. I mean, if it is, I think we'll have a better chance of getting the Death Star than the Taj Mahal. I'm just okay. saying. Hmm. But anyway, also forgot to mention that that is Fane over the second over there. You also hear grunting <laughs> in a strange tongue. <laughs> 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 and he is somewhat of a DC Comics. Uh, he is a big DC. I, I like I like Batman. The person. newer Batman movies. Um, you say Batman? <laughs> Batman. You said Batman. I said Batman movies okay. um, directed by Christopher Nolan. And he was bat. He played Batman. He, too, he right? played Batman, which I think really gave help to him. I like the Batman movies. Okay. But yeah. Well, no, they're not. They're not as good as other movies but they were pretty good for yeah the superhero movie. yeah well i'm not that big a dc comics fan but i like to expand my horizons yeah i guess that's what i'm trying to do here too but anyway we have a lot to get to in this yes. this will supply end up being close to the length of the tower of Thunk review but not nearly as epic not nearly as epic no because this is an asylum and you don't Which really makes say, it even more epic. You don't really say that asylums are epic. You say that they are. By the way, weird. one of the one of the more interesting Call of the Wild Man episodes took place in an asylum. Oh, I like that one. Is that a haunted asylum too? Haunted asylum. Yes. So make sure you check that out if you're. Asylums tend to be haunted. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, if you believe in that sort of thing. Yes. Yes, if you believe in that sort of thing. We don't want to infringe upon your beliefs. Mm -hmm. But anyway, let's go ahead and get... We, don't have, we do not have the box because this came from Playgo. But you don't really care about the box because you're looking at the actual set. So you don't really care. But we do have the instruction manuals, I yes. believe. Yes. Um, if you could get those for oh. us, please. <laughs> and they are many and they are thick. We get three of them. Could you be the instruction manual holder, please? Also, something to note is usually, correct me if I'm wrong, but usually the screaming kid um, picture is on, well, when it's on a set yeah. that is multiple booklets long, it is on the last booklet that you see the screaming kid, right? I think. This is our screaming kid expert. Yes. <laughs> yes. So inside, it's orange paper. Very interesting. Whoa, that's when they were... Still yeah. doing the texture and paper and stuff. They I don't even like have like the Lord of the Rings yeah. and the Hobbit. You see like a Middle Earth map image while you're building the set. The last page ends while you're while you've just begun building the asylum. Yeah. Book whoops. Which oh. is what everybody would be hoping to build. Right. As quickly as possible because Book two. it looks pretty detailed. Once again, last page. Uh, features the actual building instructions. We don't really see that much anymore. Normally the last page ends with something else. And then finally book three. Pretty much the same thing. At the end. Max Lego Man. Yes. Lego Club. Oh, and Lego also Plasma. it has a Lego Batman 2 DC superheroes. Which I believe I 100% I completed. That's a pretty recent game, isn't it? No, not really. It came well, out like a year? Yeah, a year. 2013. Okay, well I guess this set isn't that old then. I thought it was older than that. 
Well, I mean, so, I remember it being relatively uh, old. Area. It's relatively old because they yeah, this was... Lego Batman two, and then Lego Lord of the Rings, and then Lego City Undercover, and then Lego Marvel Superheroes. So they've the had they made they made four. And next up, yes, Lego the Hobbits. Oh, which won't be on the Wii. Curse Curses. You. Curse you. Video game makers. I um even though I do have a Wii U which it will be on, I still Bill Brick 09 I know his thoughts about it and Yes, I'll be playing it on PC. the boring old computer. Or yes. Or if we go or if you ever come to my house you can play it yes. on the Wii U. That'll be nice. So anyway, let's go ahead and show you the many mini figures of the set. And I suppose we should probably start out with Batman, correct? Well, you should probably Stop so that we can get all the minifigures down. Yeah, no, I think we can. Why? Okay. Okay. So okay. who's gonna show Batman? Uh, you, because Batman. you like Batman. Yes. Oh, that's a Batarang, isn't it? Yes. This is uh. Batman. You dead? No, no, it's not. This is Batman. It's I'm Batman. <laughs> oh, from the Lego Movie. I'm Batman. This is his um. Helmet slash mask. And I really think that his he his face piece is weird. Like that little band around his head. The yeah. face piece for this, I do not think traditionally came with eyes. I think that it originally came with just a white strip. So that when you put the mask on, all you see is white. How does he see? Uh, in the movies, he actually has his eyes showing through it. Oh. So, I don't know. In other ways. Nice. Of course, we all know that he only works in black and sometimes very, very dark gray. <laughs> <laughs> or blue. Um, blue. <laughs> Lego. Believe me, it's weird. Uh -huh. um, there is his torso printing, which is nice, but not amazing. He comes with a battering. Can we get a nice look at that by itself? Yep. It vaguely resembles a bat. Well, I've seen this a lot from um, Lego Batman and Lego Batman 2 video games. So I've had to use a battering quite a lot <laughs> to trigger stuff and kill people. And then here Very he nice. has these wings, which I'm hoping are supposed to be like his cape from the yeah newer uh, movies, where he can just jump and then it'll fly out. Like it'll glide. Yep, and then he can just glide. Interesting touch is there's studs on the back, so you could continue or put a minifigure on there. It, it's an older piece. It, it's not very common, but it has appeared before. So, And then he also has some back printing, if I can get the wings off, which I finally did. Um, and there's the back printing. So not an amazingly fun minifigure, but not a terrible minifigure. Do you want to go ahead and show the Joker, Andrew? I don't want to show I'm the Joker. I'm doing Joker. Yeah, he's oh. doing the Joker. Okay, well, do you want me to do Robin? Yeah, alright. That makes I'll sense. do Robin. Robin next. Then uh, I'll do the... Oh, I think... Okay, there we go. I'll do the random security guard. Yeah, random security guard. Okay, so this is Robin Batman's... Accomplice. <sighs> Accomplice. Accomplice. That's what you say if it's. Uh, it's a bad guy. Yeah. It, accomplice. Sidekick. Is a sidekick is for superhero. Accomplice is for bad guy. You sure? Yes. yes. So moving on from that, but I'll look it up on the dictionary. Like this. I'll show you. On like people say. So who was your accomplice? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. I guess that does sound. I guess that does have a negative connotation. Okay. So um. This I'm is. I'm not the, stupid. <laughs> that was an interesting <laughs> outburst. <laughs> Continuing on. There is the hood piece, which can be found in um, Ring Race, Attack on Weathertop. and Same color. Yeah. And um, also the Mirkwood Elves, Mirkwood Elf Army, Polybag, and the Mirkwood Elf Army set. Okay, hang on really fast. Yeah. Something that I forgot to mention, yeah. Batman's mask has a little bit of a nose. You don't see that a whole lot. Ooh. Even Ooh. in molded pieces for heads, you don't really see noses. Yeah, because Lego agreed, no noses. There you have them. Okay, so, moving on from that, we have Robin, who has a double-sided head, 
Ooh, sort that's of like scary. yeah, scared. Whoa. Robin sort that's of scary. Yeah, that is scary. It is. It, yeah. it is a little bit like <gasps> oh gosh, that's like the okay. Oh, I wouldn't want to wake up in the middle of the night and see that. I know that. Oh, gosh. oh, okay. I mean, I wouldn't want that, but I don't think it's that scary ahead. Um, I mean, that's that competes with that Gan yeah, with that Gandalf face. I think. Mm, yeah. Well, um, this is like Robin's supposed to be like the lesser brave of the two, so he's sort of like the guy who runs away while Batman charges in. While Batman beats everybody up. Mm. Fun. Robin is the normal human of the two. Short cape, that's interesting. Batman's a normal human. He's just huh. amazingly rich and smart. Okay. So we got so this. So technically he's not a superhero then. But he is. See, that's why I like DC Comics. They make more realistic. But continuing on, all that aside. Yes. Um, don't you find this with Gandalf, too? Yeah. So that is Robin's stick. Staff. Bow staff, probably. Oh, bow staff. It's a, um... I only see him with a stick on the acrobat uniform on Lego Batman. Hmm. Well, Can you explain about the staff? The bow staff. A bow staff is a, um... Basically, it's a staff used for beating people up in martial arts. Oh, that worked. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Whoa! <laughs> Destroying my display. How kind of you. Okay, so here we have Robin's... <laughs> Robin's uniform, which has his... Normal Robin symbol. Yeah, R. Red Robin. <laughs> and um, we have um, back torso. Not very exciting. Yeah, and le even less exciting legs. So I'm going to go ahead and show the random security guard, if you don't mind. Uh, yep. So he's what I just said he is. He's a random security guard. He's probably the most boring minifigure in the set. But uh, I don't know anything about the other minifigures, so I figured he'd be an easy one to tackle. He comes with this conductor-looking hat. Also see it on other police you officers. You are really, really, like... Not uh, informed? What is, what is the word? Not informed? No. What is the phrase? Oh, whatever. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say set up on the... Hung up. There we go. You're really hung up on the train conductor's hat, aren't you? You said that for every single minifigure with that. It does look like a train conductor's hat. Only because of the train conductors and Lego. Boring head. Almost looks like a Nazi. Oh, oh gosh. Jones. It looks like the Nazi's head's from Indiana Jones. It does. Oh, gosh. It really does. Though. And there's his police badge. His uniform is a little wrinkled for a security guard. I guess he might, might have been battling someone. And there's his badge, a nice little tie, and no leg printing, and no back printing. So overall, pretty boring minifigure. Yeah. But at least he is a protector of the peace, so. Which, which one is next? Um, you want to go and show the Joker? All right, I'll go ahead and show the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that funny? Now, because he's using his Joker voice. Oh, you see, I'm not the best with impressions at all. I'll give you that much. But this guy is really creepy. Apparently, according to the comic story, or the Lego story, I'm not sure which exactly, he fell into a vat of, or a dumpster of chemicals. Yes, hazardous waste, and that turned his skin completely white and his hair green. I thought that was face paint and dye and stuff. That's what it is in the movies, not in the comics. The movies is much more realistic. Now, here is his hairpiece for a closer look. His hairpiece, uh, you, you see it on somebody else. Can't think of who. But you see it on somebody it else, not in that... No. Ye no. No, that was not Wolverine, no. Now. Not unless it was an Wolverine's was Wolverine, much like the like the arc, mm -hmm. the V shape that was much larger on yeah. Wolverine. 
All right, so there's the green hair. Mm, By the way, Fan has been talking about maybe getting some green hair himself. Well, I have it. <laughs> I'm not the Joker, guys. I promise. Uh, hey, you like to do your Joker voice? Uh, there is his face um, up close. As it gets closer and closer and closer, you're getting creeped out more. <laughs> you got green his, eyebrows, too. Yeah, there's uh, his uh, torso printing. Hmm, gray undershirt. And, and even a creepier face. Oh, he's got yellow teeth. Yep. Someone that's poor dental hygiene. Well. And that, says that is actually poor dental hygiene. That's the printing on the back says inmate 1093... 70. 70. So, that is your creepy Joker. So, should I show Harley Quinn next? Um, sure. Well, that, 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 that goes along with the Joker, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so here is Harley Quinn. This is supposed to be like her, um, her disguise. Her, will you show, um, inside the asylum? You can get her actual real hair. This and is. And by the way, she's a bad guy. Yeah, she I is. Have guessed that she um, until I saw her other head. She um, <laughs> is in love with the Joker, and which is his probably... accomplice. <laughs> You guys are never gonna let me live that down, are you? Nope. What? No. Oh, the yeah. accomplice thing. No. <laughs> and taking this hair off, we have um, this, which her double-sided head looks more like the Harley Quinn we all know and don't love. <laughs> that is the normal Harley Quinn face, with her. What would you say the thing around her eye is like a? It's mask. A mask. Yeah, mask. So it's too much like Catwoman like that. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Catwoman was another set that like that didn't come with a comic adventure. Hmm. Do you have that set? Um, no. no. It's on DC, so. Well, you have this. I don't actually have this. Well, you rented it. Well, maybe I'll get Catwoman next time. Um. After the Death Star. Possibly, nah, nah. possibly. Keep going. <laughs> okay, so here That's is... That's a her. huge maybe, guys. There's the, um, the, the uniform, and backside, not too much of it. Oh, wait, that's creepy. Oh, what? Her back printing looks like a warped smile. Whoa. Oh! Do you see it? Oh, yeah. Let me see it. I see it. Oh, gosh. Doesn't it? Yes, yeah. it does. Was that, that intentional, it? or was that just... A sort of byproduct. Yes. You should tell us what you think in the comments. And we shall get horrible thoughts for the rest of our lives. <laughs> and then show her nice little hat there that makes her look like the Joker on so many card decks all over the world. Which is funny. Since this Except Joker is such a um Weirdo. Iconic <laughs> Weirdo word for the and Joker now. Why in the world do they still use the Harlequin hats? Shouldn't it be called the Harlequin instead of the Joker? Since everybody pretty much... Well, not everybody, but many, many, many people will accept that the Joker has green hair and a really <laughs> creepy face paint. And then that's not quite what we envisioned the Joker as. But it's on all the card decks. Uh... If you turn it on the side like this, it looks like... Santa Claus, but oh anyway. yeah, <laughs> oh don't even don't even put those things don't don't um, you are Bill Brook and I is putting a lot of weird and scary thoughts in our heads today. Maybe <laughs> it's because we are revealing the asylum Arkham Asylum. Hey, well, hey, on his Google Plus page, it said that you were uh, a member of Arkham Asylum. Mm. Oh. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Moving on! Are you gonna show the penguin now? Yes! Flying in on an umbrella is the penguin, and the only reason I chose him is not because he has pink pants, I'll tell oh. you. That. Oh, pink, that's purple like pants. Purple. Lavender, I think. The reason is, well, I like the Twilight Zone show, and at some point or other, the guy who played my favorite Twilight Zone character played the penguin. And his name was Burgess Meredith, and he played Henry Bemis in the episode Time Enough at Last. An amazing episode. It's it's a very iconic episode, too. Uh, if you watch it, you'll probably recognize the storyline in some way, shape, or form. 
But anyway, that's why I chose this guy, not because of the purple pants. You want a bet? <laughs> so also, just to say, in the video game, one of um, the powers is that the Joker, I mean, the Penguin can um, glide on his umbrella. Like, is that it's a one gliding piece? Ca character. I, I have no idea. Like I said, I didn't put this thing together. I want to see that. I one. don't think that's one piece. No, it's not. Okay. Two pieces. Oh, sorry. Oh, sure. Okay. And the rest of the minifigure, he has a nice top hat. I really like that top hat. It's all top hatty. It looks like Abraham Lincoln. Not the minifigure, that top hat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then there is his face. He's got uh, what do you call it? A sp it's monocle. A monocle. Okay. No double sided because otherwise his other head would be showing and that'd be creepy. He's wearing a tuxedo. Which is a purple like bow tie thing. and purple pants. Don't ask me why he's wearing purple pants. And also in the video game he waddles like a penguin. That's disturbing. No, he's supposed to be like really big on Oh, he's supposed penguins to have penguins as pets and train them to shoot machine guns. <laughs> according <laughs> according <laughs> to the Lego story of it. Is that the real story? Like the, the no DC clue. comic story? Uh -huh. so according to Lego story? Lego, I know. Well, I don't you know were about to say, those. according to Lego story, what? According to Lego story, that's what it is. Oh, okay. So really there's not a whole lot more to say about the penguins. So he's going to go fly up back onto the roof. And what, how many more minifigures have we got? Um, you sure? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. No, there's at least one more. There's, yeah, there's one more. Oh, Poison Ivy and... Oh, that's right. Poison Ivy. I'm doing the Scarecrow. Oh, that's right. You're doing Scarecrow, who's got poison ivy. All right, I'll do. Right. Only reason I want that is because she has slimy red hair. <laughs> anyway, that was terrible. We were way off. <laughs> well, no, I actually. Five sec two seconds in the song, I actually began to hear it. Hmm. So anyway, yep, that's really red hair. I've never seen a person with hair that red. And also with leaves on her hair. Yeah, I've never seen that mm. either. Because if I did, I'd probably do a double take and call the cops. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> you've never had, well, yeah, but you've never had, like, leaves in your hair? <laughs> no. Because I don't have long hair that leaves would get caught in. Oh. But anyway, she's wearing green lipstick. Um, that's weird. It looks she's like She's supposed to be like the um She's supposed to be the plant lady, yeah. kind of like the penguin is yeah. supposed to love penguins. <laughs> yeah, she's the she's the bad plant lady. It looks like she's actually wearing plants. I think that I read in one of the Lego comic thingies when I still got the Lego magazine, which then got really, 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 really kitty. Uh, I think that it said that uh, her lipstick is poisonous. Ugh. So Okay. <laughs> okay. Mm, fun. Fun. Yeah, we all know where I was going with that one. Yeah. Oh, I know. No, not bad. Going? Not bad. <laughs> Dude, you are really bad. I do not All right. know what is going on. Good. Okay, good. I will move on to the Scarecrow, which I that think... That is the last minifigure. Yeah, yes. which I actually believe is one of my favorite minifigures of um, Lego Batman 2. Well, actually, Lego Batman. He's in Lego Batman also. So, I really He's wearing like... wearing Gandalf's hat. But yeah, well, this he is a... brown. Yeah, you turned it brown too. This is a um, this is a scarecrow hat because he is the person for the for the ninety nine percent for the point zero 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 one percent who do not know what a scarecrow is, it is a <laughs> straw like figure of a person that scares away crows so that they don't eat. And in lots of, of movies, they scare more than just crows. <laughs> yes. In this, he's supposed to be the scarecrow that scares more than just crows, as in people. That's why he's at an asylum, because he's actually just some human that's, like, really... Demented. Really Crazy. Demented, deranged, and all 
other kinds of bad things. Yeah. So well, here. That's why people go through violence. What's um? What's his story? What's the scarecrow story? I have no clue. He's I, a weird guy who wants to dress up like a scarecrow and creep people out. No, I thought I, you were a DC I, I fan. Yeah, but I don't read the comics or anything. Now, I, I would like to say though that mm. since he has on that yeah, hat oh yeah here's the back the back he saw the, head. the movie with Gandalf and so he's like oh well Radagast the Brown isn't taken cause he saw only the Lord of the Rings what when he saw that Radagast wasn't taken he decided to do his own impersonation of Radagast so he got a wizard hat just like Gandalf uh. but turned it brown uh Thank you for your detailed explanation of how the scarecrow got his hat. Okay. Yeah, wait, one more look at the back. Okay. Real quick, and he's got yeah. the same skin color as Grim and Worm Tongue. And there's the back torso. All right. And so that is about all the minifigures. Oh, well, it is all the minifigures. Oh, that I said that's about all the minifigures. Mm. All right. So should we all just review the set together? I'd say yes. so. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. Next up, we have. A well, lovely... shouldn't we do the gate first? The gate first? Well, let's just, uh... Yeah, let's go ahead and do the ambulance. We'll just do the ambulance and the it's gate It's not an now. ambulance! Oh, that's right. Oh, it's yeah, an it's... asylumance. It's an asylumance. That's an interesting name for it. <laughs> I've got to hold the camera, so if you would not mind pointing out the details... Okay, so... Will you open the door, though? That yes. is the impossible door to open. That is the hardest Lego door to open. So here is the opening where in the set, um, in the set, the Joker is actually being taken to the asylum. Or if you wanted uh, to, taken away. Yeah, taken away by Harley Quinn herself. I, actually, he wanted to go there, but <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, he probably did. Want yeah, because oh. she, because oh, she true. was there. No. Uh, uh, it, oh yeah, that's right. They're both in love with each other. That's the weird part. And then. Uh, that's weird. That's weird. Okay. No, it is weird that they're both in love with each other. That's like really demented. Okay. okay. Anyway, there's the license okay. plate. Okay. Yeah. Are you ready yet, Fainor? No, because I can't get it. Well, I'll show the rest of the truck. I'm assuming. Yeah, there's definitely stickers. Someone did not do a very nice job. Well, this stickers. was. Let me just say, first of all, that since this is Playgo, none yeah. of these, none of these stickers were put on by my dad. These were all put on by the first person who received the set. And they didn't do a good job. And Fanor is trying to make the sound of an ambulance. <laughs> oh, <I wasn't. laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, I'm like, <laughs> Why are you going like that, then? Because I accidentally broke this. Oh, yeah. by the way, just seeing this. Oh, it looks like this is a stick shift car, too, so this is a real oh. old car. <laughs> you really actually looked at the... Well, I was wondering what that was doing there. I was like, oh, that must be a stick shift. There's the wheel. The, um, and the final really interesting thing that we want to show you. The containment device for um, Joker somewhat resembles the containment device for Iron Fist in the set Do Doc Ock ambush. He actually and looks it's... pretty happy about going to the asylum. Yeah. Kind of like Justin Bieber looks happy going to jail. Yeah. Um, you really get it. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Um, moving on. We have a sort of bias against him. Though. Yes. We are yes. not really discriminating. We just yes. have that little bias. Yes, a little bias. <laughs> mm. Yes, yes, yes. Please, so, no hate mail. Please, please, you no hate. And you guys don't care. I'm the one that has to look at it. Oh. Uh, but anyway, but I don't want to see it either. <laughs> and I will actually ban you from my channel if you say anything. I have had to do oh, that to one person yeah. so far. So anything derogatory and you'll get banned and you'll never get to see any of my videos ever again. Most likely for me too. So keep your thoughts to yourself, people. Or you'll no, end up we here. want your thoughts. But yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes I take that back. Thoughts. I'm sorry. Keep your negative thoughts to yourself, people. Negative. Or you'll end up here. Sent to there by <laughs> me. <laughs> So we have one Bill more. Bill Nine has the power to turn you into a Lego minifigure and put you in this Lego set. Not quite, but I can uh. banish you. <gasps> you are hereby banished from the land of Rohan under penalty of death. You're banishing me from Rohan? <laughs> <laughs> Not you. I think I gotta go crack! No. <laughs> now I'm banishing you. Oh, making joy. annoying noises. <laughs> uh, you could say that there's two more minifigures oh. in this set right here, but... They're uh, not really minifigures. Yeah. 
And they're, they look like winged Nazgul. Yeah. You said that. Winged Nazgul mermaids. Yes. Yeah. Don't that's... ask. Don't yeah. ask. And this um, axe is also found. It's or... not an axe. Okay, whatever it what is. is it? I have no clue. It's, it's a not weird. A it's a. It's a. It's found in the set like town chase. Yes. It's a weird weapon. And it's it looks like an axe to me, so I'm calling it an axe. Now, uh, you do have some interesting building techniques the here. The black gate opens. Now these this gate <laughs> this gate piece here you can see that it's uh, different from the claws there. I've not seen that piece before. Come think of it, I haven't seen this one either. Oh oh wait, I have seen those, those are ladders. But this one up top I have never seen before. It's connected to the others by some clip pieces and then these little droid looking arms. Okay, and yes, just a little practical thing. Depending on which way you have as the inside they would open to the inside so that way they're pushing those who want to get out away unless it's like a car like if there were any inmates trying to escape they would open outwards and push them away not that way and just let them run out that's just a little practical note there okay, okay I did not make sense of that and then the thing that's Somewhat odd is that the keys to the asylum are outside. <laughs> so if anyone's like, I want to go to the asylum today, uh, <laughs> maybe the well, best way to hide keys are inside. in plain sight. They're they're on the sure. inside in the um. Oh, there's the, the key on the cover to the thingy instruction manual. Oh, they are. Yes. Okay. But I decided to make my design different. Now let's see here. What what's the point of these moving? I don't really understand that. I think it's so that you can position it so that the yard is either straight or at an angle. And it looks like a piece was missing over here because this spear is just lying here loosely. I'm assuming that your dad realized that a piece was missing. I get. Oh yeah, I think he did say a piece. I mean, was ordering from ordering from Plego. I mean, it's bound to happen. Yeah, but people just steal one piece and then are like, <laughs> if you do get the Death Star, can all can we all build together? I and then we'll all steal zero pieces. <laughs> yes. If this is to end in fire, we shall all build it together. <laughs> Burn together. It's just a play on the quote. Anyway. That was a terrible. Yeah. Interesting piece that we actually see quite a bit of here in this set, but I've never seen any other set. Is this Ninjago? Oh, Ninjago. Interesting. It could be a weapon. It could be decorative. In this case, I suppose I it could be both. I have a feeling it's both. Yes. If you're an asylum inmate and you escape and you're looking for a weapon, I think this just would break actually... it off of the stone and right. use it. Uh. Well, if it's in Lego, you just have to pop it off. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, watch. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Now she has a weapon. Yeah, she's... She's... But she doesn't really need a weapon because she can harness all the powers of poison ivy for her. So. What if there's no poison ivy around? Yes, but see, now she's just gonna throw it down from above and hit the. Security guard. <laughs> so now she's an armed insane person. She is Boing. already an insane person. But now she's an armed insane person. Nope, she's disarmed. Oh, you're right, okay. Well, anyway, <laughs> anything else you want to say? Oh, wait, there's one more thing I want to say about the gate. Interesting wing pieces here. I have not seen these before. Have you guys? Uh, not me. I have no idea where that came from. Well, we have not seen it before, so... That is interesting. And we get four of them in the set, so... Very interesting. And that just pops in there with a clip. It's supposed to pop in there with this clip. And then we put this here. And now you have Wings Nazgul Mermaids once again. So, we'll be back momentarily to show you the actual asylum. So prepare to enter the lair of insane people. <laughs> All right, we're back, and we're here to show you the actual asylum now. So if you're squeamish or get scared easily, then go away. Keep watching. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's Lego, it's not going to be that bad. Yeah. So we're going to show the it's outside It's Andrew and 30 watching first. this, or taking part in this. Eric, you want to show the side? Sure, we'll show the left side first. Very gothic architecture style. Mm-hmm. Some plants. Typical for well, what people will do when they... Talking about that kind of stuff. Honest. I think the scariest thing you'll see in this review was... Um, Feanor. 
<laughs> oh, that's nice. You never even see me. You don't what? see him. I have a wart on my face. <laughs> There's some more. Uh, I was going to say pieces. Harley Quinn's back printing. Oh gosh, that was kind of creepy. That is really weird. But uh, here are some more of those spike pieces. Now here is one of the more interesting parts of the set. We get two of them, and they're supposed to be like gargoyles. We see those on just about every gothic piece of architecture around, and some very interesting building techniques here. Do you see what the face is? Ah, look closely. It is a toad in the gray color. And it actually does have a face-like quality when placed at this angle. So, pretty creepy there. And then we also have axe blades for wings. So, when you add toads and axes to sculptures, it gives that creepy gothic All right. feel. Now then, show this one and I'm gonna show it come to life. Which makes it even creepier, especially for this place. It slowly rises up and it looks you in the eye and wants to get you. That wasn't creepy at all. Okay, well, <laughs> it is kind of weird though because like, you see it all folded up well, I mean, if it did by its sudden, if it did by itself yeah. without the help of your hands, then it might have been a bit creepier. Mm -hmm. No, it wouldn't because it's a piece of Lego, so it's not like it really hurt us. You've never stepped on a piece of Lego. <laughs> true, very true. Uh, so the rest of the front of the building, we have <gasps> some more plants. So poison ivy will be happy if it happens to actually be poison <laughs> ivy. We have a nice security camera here, and I, w I wonder why there's a security camera here. It's been bugging me all day. Okay, I think you need to go to the <laughs> <laughs> That's bugging you. <laughs> then I'm assuming these are stickers that say Arkham Asylum here. Well, actually, Arkham Asylum are two different pieces, just to tell you. Yeah, there's one that says Arkham, the other says Asylum. Then, of course, we have opening doors, which I'm not seeing any kind of locking mechanism, so you might want to watch out if you mm. decide to visit. Mm -hmm. Very basic looking doors, and yes, they do open, even though they probably should not be opening. But see, again, they open inwards to not allow anybody out unless they themselves are opening the door. And that is so that they won't just run straight out. And it's a, a nice staircase there. Some lamps to light up the nice creepy asylum. And over here, <laughs> excuse me, bless again. and there, that actually looks like poison ivy to me. That actually, yeah. she is holding that in the set. She's holding those two. Oh, really? Yeah. Then why is. are they there? Because, because of Feynor, most likely. No, because that's where they were when I got to displaying, so. Oh. Well, I mean, in the set, she is holding those two things, so. Well, there are clip pieces there, so I guess it works. But we should probably go ahead and show the minifigure with those. As he does that. We get Spider-Man's web here. Any idea why this is here? Uh, Spider-Man is in Arkham Asylum. You didn't know that? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I don't really um, I believe that is actually done by the Scarecrow, I think. Scarecrow's on that vine. It did come definitely come in the set, right? Yeah, it did. Yes. Okay. Did. Where's the uh, instruction manuals? I don't know. Okay. Now, Ugh. what is this piece right here? I that like is to know. from Prince of yeah. Persia. How do they come It's off? like a claw or something. Hey, look. She ah. is aspiring to be Venom from Spider-Man. Ah, yes, she is. And she probably actually became Venom, regardless of what... Um, <laughs> that's a little bit weird, but we won't go into the specifics. <laughs> okay, okay, so do you see... Um, in the instruction manual, it does Gosh. show that the scarecrow is on the whatever it is. And she's actually holding those in that same location, so maybe you can like clip one side to her hands and one side to the actual clipster for display technique. And now, some more interesting pieces, as I was pointing out, these right here, I don't exactly see how they come off. Maybe they don't come they off They do easily. come off. See, you have to take that off and then uh, pull it off, but that's a little bit 
complicated. So, interesting piece there. Here's another one. It almost looks like a drill. It's a unicorn thing from... I have no idea. Yeah, you don't want to go there because then we're going to ask you how you know that. I have no clue where in the world it's from. It but, looks like a um, drill, or if you turn it upside down, it looks like an ice cream cone. Yeah, in um, the Lego movie, I know that one of the characters has that. Cause she's a unicorn. But the Lego movie sets? Uh, yeah, she is in a set. Who? She has I have no clue. It's the horse no. thingy. The, the lady the in the Lego movie? One of them. Oh, you mean like the main one? No. No, not the main one. No. Now we do have some That's nice really minifigure display space up here. Quite a bit, actually. And this part actually makes it look like an old cathedral or something that got converted into an asylum? Or maybe that's just how they built asylums back then. Maybe. But that looks like a steeple, and then this is the, definitely a stained glass window, which makes it look very old cathedral-like, very medieval. Oh, um, medieval? Bilberco 9? Say it, I think. Bilberco 9? Yes. I'm looking through the description of this, and do you have any Lego Indiana Jones sets which has Elsa Scheidner in it? No, I didn't. Get because it. that that is Poison Ivy's hair. No, that hair is pretty common in different colors, oh, obviously. It yeah. says Poison Ivy has Elsa Scheidner's hair, so yeah, I haven't, common, I haven't I seen that. No, I haven't not seen that this. Hair. No, you're thinking of the one where it's longer and more. It comes down further oh. in the back or in the front. This is different. Okay. Cause I it's don't just barely there. Oh, yeah, I, don't I don't have. Crazy. I didn't get. What sets did she even come in? Um, I'll look it up. I oh, probably the uh, Venice Canal Escape. Oh yeah. Set, yeah. All right. It wasn't uh, quite yeah. done out here. Venice Canal Chase. There's some handcuffs here, which makes <clears throat> it look really creepy. Just do you want to show the audience what? That's... Yeah, she was in Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Hmm. And I saw, like, another movie with a bad woman named Elsa, so I've learned that if I ever meet a girl named Elsa... She's evil? Yes. Well, the thing is, the, um... Bigotry! The, the oh, thing well, is... Sorry if anyone watching this is named Elsa. The, Although the, it's not a very common name. The thing is, um, in, in the movie Frozen, the older sister who oh, yeah. is named Elsa... <gasps> Is she evil? No, she isn't evil. She's never evil. Aww. They probably felt the need to make movie. someone unevil named Elsa because of those movies. The camera with the other movies. The bad guy is actually named Hans. Oh. Hans Henry Tavius. That's not very Hans nice. Hans Zimmer? Yeah. They and then if you got rid of the S, Hans Solo. <laughs> Although he's, kind, he's bad in a good way. He's a weird person. No, he's cool. He's weird. I've seen these pieces in a Lego Dino set. And it was actually used for a function, mm. a sliding gate. I would like to get that set on here, although it's somewhat falling away. Maybe over the summer I'll rebuild it. But now it's time for what you've all been waiting for, the inside of the building. So why don't we go and start with the entrance hall, and I wish we had some more light. Hang on, we're missing a little bit. Do you want me to, I'll put some more light in there. Yeah, that sounds good. Let me see here. Okay, that's really weird. Oh, I guess the creepy lighting look too. Like it. So let's go and start with the entrance hall. So we'll go ahead and open the doors one more time if you could do that, Fanor. <coughs> Boom, the door has opened. So right here we have a nice little office for Mr. Security Guard. He's got some handcuffs here in case anyone escapes. Such as. Scarecrow. And as with many, many figures, he comes with a nice coffee cup right there. <laughs> you are all so addicted to those. Oh gosh, <laughs> what's going on? That actually adds to the... Yeah, it makes it look like flicker. We're creeping out! But we can't really see it that well. Yeah, okay, let me... How did I do that? How did I do that? Okay, you keep trying, okay. and then I will figure out how I... I think this is a sticker, but I'm not positive. Uh -huh. Right there. Uh, there we go! Um, yeah, that's I a did sticker. It. I did it, I did it. That's did a it. sticker. Yeah, I figured it would be. Unless I'm not human. You aren't human. 
It says alert, so I'm assuming someone is escaping. Now over here. Hang on, let's to... let's go on this side first. All right, oh wait, uh, one nice swivel chair here. Oh yes, very good. Cool. Spin around. Handcuffs on a clip there. Now over here. We have a nice, some nice jail cells. They're very cozy. Mm -hmm. uh, they're up for retail now. I hear. Mm -hmm. um, I hear they're only like a couple hundred dollars a month. Really? Yes. So if you rob a bank, so you need to rob a bank first. Yeah. So yeah. So if you want some prime real estate, <laughs> come on in. And that is where he goes. Well, I can't, you can slide these too. Yes. That's how you. Open That's them. how they escape. Uh oh. I am banging around the scarecrow in there. And I'm assuming that those are all stickers. This sticker is seen, um, which of the two sets was that in? I think it was the Spider-Man Cycle Chase, right? Oh, I don't remember that sticker being I in. think so. And then it was also, that sticker was also used in Jabba's Palace for Hans Carbonite thing. So it's an, it's a typical sticker, that's nice. I have never seen uh, a prison where they actually put the names of the occupants on the outside. Well, I think it's because, wait, it's an asylum where everybody's so deranged in different ways that they'll know. That is weird. It's almost like it's an exhibit or something. Yeah. It's creepy. And here you this see the Joker. Oh, shoot. Why in the world does he have that machine gun? Because <laughs> that's what the Joker does. And then let's go ahead and show the inside of the prison cells if we can. There's they're like very, they're very small. You can barely fit a minifigure in there. I mean, they can't like lay down, take a nap or anything like that. But this is an asylum, so they don't really care. Yeah. Care for your comfort. Right. So we'll go ahead and shut these doors. Any idea what this is here for? Is that just for support, or is that like a function? I have no idea. Just kind of sitting there oddly. I don't know. Anyway, let's go to the other side. I would like to point out this nice red telephone here. On nice a, red telephone. On a pedestal. That is a sticker. It's one of those old phones where you had to use your fingers to punch, punch the in, numbers. Punch the numbers in, but uh, Lego minifigures don't really have fingers, so I don't really know how they would do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. No, I just did it. There's your yeah. red telephone on the top of the actual machine, if you will. Now, over here, we have some more of the occupants listed. We get Poison the penguin. Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze. How come he isn't in the set? Um, he just doesn't come in the set. Poison That's weird. Givy Poison Ivy. Two-Face. Two-Face. Well, they should have put uh, Mr. Freeze and Two Face in here. Mr. Freeze comes in another set. Oh, I'm yeah. Mr. Freeze and Two Face certainly come in other DC sets, but they yeah, they, sh they should have included them in here. I well, think. I mean, they they already included a ton of minifigures in the set. Yeah, but they're not a whole lot of functions, so that would have kind of made up for it if they included all the minifigures. And in as you here. can see, the platform spins. But there's more to it than that. To reveal Harley Quinn's makeup. Hang spins. on a second. Can you? Can you shine the light here? Oh, um... And that is the same hat that we showed you earlier. It's not another one. And, as you can see, they're in love. Oh, gosh. That's creepy. It really is. That's really creepy. Really oh, is. boy. Yep. And those are, like, makeup containers. And there's her weird hat. She's insane. <laughs> <laughs> we know that already. In a short note. So now, uh, moving up to level two, here's that window where Poison Ivy comes in, th I mean, uh, Scarecrow comes in through. Here's some plants put upside down, which gives it a more interesting look. Let's see, what else do we have? Now, here is where Poison Ivy is contained. I guess she needs a different kind of container uh, because of her poison summoning abilities or whatever. But there is a window there, so... I like how she sits there smiling. Mm. That is the mark of a truly insane person. Let's well, creep like Justin Bieber. <laughs> uh, we it, keep, okay, We keep coming stop. to that topic. Please stop that. That's all me, sorry. Sorry if I'm offending anyone. That's just me, though. He's not very big on pop music. Well, I I'm big on pop music, music I, just on... You know who. Who? Him. 
Just not him. Oh, not him. I thought you said yeah. him. <laughs> no! Like, and she's actually got plants in there, so I'm like, why would you give a plant lady plants while well, she's in an asylum? But whatever. That's why they're experimenting oh, um, with her. As you can see... No, no, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. Um, Mr. Freeze actually comes in quite a few sets. It oh, okay. comes in the Bad Cave, the Penguin, and Mr. Freeze's inv Invasion. Batman's Buggy, the Escape of Mr. Freeze. Batman, Arctic Batman vs. Mr. Freeze, Aquaman on Ice, and the Mr. Freeze mini -pain. Oh my gosh, it's like eight okay, sets. Okay, I actually think that Mr. Freeze would be in here because if you look up here at this ah, sticker, it says right. negative 82 degrees. So I have a Oh, and there's ice blocks in there too. Yeah. See, they should have included him. That's oh, by the it. way, I mean, Batman, that'd be annoying for someone who by the way, didn't have any of those sets. By the way, Batman, was, when I said Batman, that is the Batman board game. Oh, okay. All right. Well, he would have been a micro figure then. Yeah. Now, this is another one of those annoying Lego designs where they have a room upstairs, but there's no way to get there. <laughs> that does get annoying after a while. And yeah, there's ice blocks, and there's that stained glass window that I pointed out earlier. So where once a church was, now there's a... I seriously don't think it's a church. It's a stained glass window and a steeple. I think it was supposed to be. It's not time. a steeple. Okay, well, it's a It steeple. looks like it, but it isn't. Well, yeah, I guess it doesn't Oh, exactly it's a Mr. Freeze like minifigure magnet set. Oh. All right, and then down here, this is where they examine their specimens. <laughs> Inmates. And this is, this is very poseable. Yes. And you can drop the light on the person who's sitting there. To knock them out. Feel no pain. All you can see is your hand. Uh, Mr. I mean, Two Face comes in two sets: Batmobile and Two Face Chase, and Oops. the Batmobile Two Face's Escape. That's only secured on there by a jumper plate. I think that's poor design. We should have had one of those swivel pieces. Uh, so I would, if you have an extra one, I'd definitely put that there in place of the jumper plate. Now over here we have a specimen container. Uh, this is the same bottle that we see in the Tower of Orthanc, except in a different color. It was purple there, and it's green here. I like this piece. I think it's pretty cool looking. As you can see, one of the drawers is open, and the other one is closed. Interesting design there. Some syringes. The only other sets I've seen those in are the Lego Dino sets, and they're normally and they're always green in those sets. Computer console, and then just some weird different colored pieces up there. So overall, very nice specimen container. Even though they're testing things out on people, which seems weird, even if the people are insane. Are you guys gonna say anything? Not really. And oh, well, what? Oh, what does it say? What does hang it on, actually? Hang on, hang on. Oh, what's he is looking at? The newspaper. Oh, is he actually reading the rest of it? Yeah. And they can do that. Now there's some big windows there. Now the last thing really is not that exciting. There is a nice. Let me see. Can I have that again? I want to see that. Nice. Yeah. All right. Sorry, that's your instrument. We now have a nice swivel right. armchair there. No, 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 no. I got that. Looks this like the arms are nice and this cushioned. This is my nice amp. Oh, it is. But it's not a very cozy um, room. I don't like rooms with large ceilings. They're not very cozy. I don't think. Oh, this will help a lot. And this is a normal desk, but um. There is something on there, but Feanor and Andrew are investigating it right now. I don't think that it's... If there was anything on there, it would be no, way too no, small you can, to... No, you can read it, sort of. Basically, it tells about Batman. Let's see. It's um, a newspaper. I think it's printed. I can't tell for sure, but it I believe is. it is printed. It is. Like, basically, it's talking about how Batman saved... I just see Lego and Lego people. City on there. So and then it said that Lego. he had only one comment. That he will not stop until he gains intelligence or something? I didn't know that bit. The greatest Lego hero ever. That's kind of an overstatement. Yes. Yes, it is. Aragorn is the greatest Lego. No Frodo. Uh, Sam. Actually, Sam. Sam. Actually. Sam. It's Gollum for, <laughs> for getting the ring from Frodo. True. If he uh, hadn't tried to steal uh, the ring from Frodo, the ring would have never been destroyed. So technically, Sam is probably the greatest Lego hero. Yeah. yeah. Sam would have still tried to get the ring from Frodo. Frodo would have died if it wasn't for Sam. Yeah. On numerous occasions. Because Frodo's helpless. Sorry. Frodo's Frodo. just some helpless 
kid who's supposed to be... Although I was reading an article that compared him to a priest, but anyway. Mm, I can see that. <laughs> Somewhat. Anyway, I think that's about it for the Arkham Asylum. That was very good. It's actually pretty quick for such a big model. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's not the greatest large set I've ever seen. How much did you say it was? $160. $160. Uh, for... If you're going for an expensive set, um... But this is still 9.6 cents per piece, so... Yeah, but it's not... If for a younger kid, it's not a good set. Because of the lack of functions. Mm -hmm. Um, Battle of Helm's Deep is $30 less and is much more playable, I think. And now Minds of Moria is much less and is the most yes, playable. Yes, much less. It's almost $100 less and it's more playable. Goblin King Battle, $60 less, much more playable. Mm -hmm. So this is more for display, I think. It does have some very interesting display techniques. Most notably, I would say, the, are the gargoyles, the stained glass Those window, and the specimen container. <laughs> and one thing I would like to point out is there are a couple of profile bricks there. Actually, there's a few by the front door and a couple over here. Now, I don't know if Andrew's dad made a mistake or if it's supposed to look like this where one profile brick is facing out and the other is facing in. I don't know if that was a mistake by him or if that was supposed to be like that. Ah. If it was supposed to be like that, that's an interesting look. That's how look. it's supposed to be. Oh, it is? Yep. That's an interesting look. And like. I think it's interesting that profile bricks came out now at this point. Yeah, I like profile bricks. I think they're really no, good. No, but I mean, like, they... I didn't know that they had come out by then. Yeah, I did think they were new to the Lord of the Rings sets, actually. But I guess this came out yeah, first. Not, and yeah. well, they were... They the advertised this as the... Okay. It was what? Oh, no, no, no. I was, like, joking. Like, if they... All right. Oh. Yeah. Well, any building tips either of you? I don't have any. No. No. Okay. Well, we'll go ahead and move on to the specifics. So the so, ratings. So, oh, shit. <laughs> Thank you, the ratings. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and redo yeah, the specifics yes. for you. Yeah. And we'll do, uh, redo the review for you as well. Oh, uh, goodness, they just love that. Because, what's, what's the quote? What's the Joker's quote? Why so serious? No, um, what's the other one? Something about explosions or something? Let's not blow yes. things out of proportion. Let's not blow things out of proportion. <laughs> Anyway, since it was your dad who built it, go ahead and rate the build, Andrew. I... Can you rate it? Will you rate I what? didn't build it. Build it. But it's his dad. Yeah, I know. Well, no, I, I mean, mean I just... didn't build it, so it's I a little either. bit difficult for I'll rate play, I guess. Alright, well, uh, I'm going to give it a 9, actually. Uh, for build? Yes, the others I think oh, are yeah. way lower, but for build, there are lots of interesting... Not, not so much for pieces, although there are quite a few interesting pieces. Oh, yeah. But there's a lot of interesting building techniques in here. I like that. Most notably is gargoyles. Those are really interesting. Uh, I like to try and make one of those myself, and I could if it had great frogs, but I don't. Stained glass window is interesting. Uh, I like those little trident-looking pieces there. Not Thorn's Key, but that. Uh, yes, those pieces as well, the claw-looking pieces, I, and then that uh, bottle on the inside, if you wouldn't mind flipping that. I have the interesting use of the... Yes, interesting use of the profile bricks. Interesting use of this plant here, we normally see that the other way around. This bottle. Yes, that bottle is very interesting. Syringes, we don't see those. <laughs> that drill-looking piece. What syringes? Ah... Uh, only other time I've seen those are in Lego Dino and they're green, so that's the only time I've seen them in a gray color. Uh, oh. Lego Nurse and Lego minifigures. No, I was talking about that. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about that. And then that uh, Harley Quinn hat. Interesting. So overall, a lot of interesting pieces. It's not quite a 10. Uh, I'd like to reserve 10 for something magnificent. Such as? The Tower Fourth Ball. But I don't think this is absolutely magnificent. I mean, compare that to that, and I think even if you're not an LOTR fan, I think you'll agree that that's a little more impressive than that. Sorry, but I do. So, not quite a 10, but a 9. I think I'm being pretty generous, especially since I'm not a superheroes fan, so. Mm -hmm. So, where'd the gate go? I'd like to oh, make a display. Right there. Oh, there it is. Let's go ahead. Let's it back around. We're 
Andrew's gonna so, show inside. Andrew, would you like to go ahead and rate play? I eight maybe. I think that's being really high on the Oh, oh okay. gosh. That's extremely high. Yeah, I, 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 for this, I I'm would, not very good for ratings, okay? I would give it a four. Okay. No. A zero? One or a zero? No, no. No, because there's zero play. No, there's a little, there's a tiny bit. There's the opening. Moving the doors. You can move these prison doors right here. Um, and then a bunch of spinny swivel things. Swivel chairs. A bunch of spinny things. Opening doors. And then this... Yeah, exactly. And the doors here, the opening gate. I would give it a four. Spinny things aren't very fun, though, so it's not really play. Whee! Unless, of course, you wanted to do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I, I'd go with a four. You can play with it. It's, it's hard, though. Um, so you're going to have to get creative if you want to play with this set. Yep. And the thing is, I mean, it, this isn't, like, even seen in a movie, so you, you don't even really know what to do with it. For example, Pirate Ship Ambush, I mean, and it's not complete by the way, it's almost complete, but not quite. I mean, it's in the movie, but you don't really see anything, so you have to get really creative when you're playing with it. You know what I'm saying? It's not like you know... What, what do you mean, you mean? don't really see anything? It's only in the movie, she like... Not, she did a warning shot past its bow. That's the extended edition. So, and even if you include that, oh! there's hardly anything. What? Well, we warned you! <laughs> Prepare to be boarded. Well, like I'm, well, I, I'm just trying to say, the, those two sets are hard to play with unless you're really creative with your play. That's what I'm saying. So, uh, do you think that's okay? A four, or did yeah, you want to stick I, with an eight? I, whatever you want. No, I think it's somewhere in the middle, like a five or something. I don't know. I, would, I think he. I think four. We we all have differing opinions. Uh, it, it, Feanor thinks it's a zero or a one. He thinks that it's a one. He's creepily whispering one to me. I think it's a four, and Andrew thinks it's an eight. So we're kind of all over the board on this one. But, so we'll just say it's a one. But you, I, I, I know you all like me the best anyway. So it's a one. Stick with the four. One. Okay. Forty one. We'll, we'll agree to disagree on this. Forty one. This is the first time that we really could not agree on anything. Nope. So it, uh no, Fanny, are you rate the split? Yes, I'm actually going to give it a nine point five. Whoa. No, because it's a great set for display. Well yeah. Look I guess at the it front is. of it. That's an amazing front right there. But it's not nearly as amazing as that. No, that one I gave a ten. But 9.5 is really, really close to 10. 9.5 is because 10, it, 10 to, it's 10 just not, to 10. It, it's just not big enough. This? Yes, it, if it was larger and it had, like, a base plate so that the gate and the main structure are connected, then it would probably get closer. I don't know because I haven't really had that much time to display this, but... 9.5. So, okay. So anything else you guys want to add? <laughs> Besides that? <laughs> which we'll save for the very end? Mm, no. Alright, well thanks for tuning in. Hopefully we'll get maybe a couple more DC reviews on well, here. Well, we know we have the Dynamic Duo Funhouse escape. Yes, that looks like it's going to be a real oh. fun set. I read some about some of the functions and that sounds just pretty fun. But I have not built it yet. The fun functions of the Funhouse. And guess who we get to win of that set? If you can. It shouldn't be too hard. I mean, they're only two outrageously funny characters. <laughs> Is that a Joker quote? I'm no. assuming. It's not a quote. Well, he's speaking like the Joker. Or he thinks he is, anyway. So, it's thanks for tuning in. Stay, stay tuned for some more DC reviews and all kinds of other awesome things here, not only on my channel, but also on Andrew Knights and Andrew Thurry's channel. Yes. And maybe someday on Fanor's channel, if he ever gets a YouTube account. But, oh, but I'm forgetting. We, we forgot to introduce one of the members of the asylum. Oh, Who no. Who it be? Who is it? It's Mushroom Man. Mushroom Man. No, 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 not on the inside, not on the inside. Oh, inside. Okay. Mushroom Man. I'm not gonna go back to the